Hey guys, what's up? This is finally a new video. We are jumping back into Sketch. Today's video is about creating a food menu UI. And I also want to create like such a ticket that you already see. And I really like these ticket uh, styles and we are going to get right into it. So let's sort of open up Sketch and let's create a new artboard. Again, sure, iPhone 7. Uh, let's just use the iPhone 7 artboard and we are going to create a header. The header will be, will be a rectangle, like about that and like about that. So this is going to be our header and we're going to fill it with a background photo. I'm choosing Craft again because Craft is an amazing app that helps us to just put in some cool photos and texts and so on. Um, it's made by Envision and I'm going to create a new photo that is automatically added to my design. Um, for example, let's go for New York, New York and it should place this photo within a few seconds. So if you wait a few seconds, we should get a photo placed into the rectangle as a film method. Seems like it didn't work out, so let's try it again. <clears throat> it seems like... Okay, so here we have our photo. Um, it's not New York, it's from... It, I chose the city category because uh, like New York didn't give any results. Um, so we have our photo right here and I would like to add another fill. Same normal one single colored uh, fill and I would like to have a slightly bluish color and I'm going to change the opacity a little bit so we have it faded out a bit like about that. And this is going to be our header. Of course we are going to grab the iOS UI design template because I would like to add a I would like to add like this status bar paste it and use this icon to place it at the top just like that. So this is the basic header. Um, I'm using the material design icons. They are also linked down in the video description if you want to work with them as well. I'm going to grab a normal um, menu icon and also like a magnifying search icon just like that. Here we have them. Okay. So we have both icons like that. And now I would like to place them like about there. Ungroup this one so we have the just the shape. And of course both of them should obviously be white. Um, now we can simply place them in the correct position, which is about this. And I would like to add a new title and the title is going to be menu. Um, let's change the, the weight and the size should be centered. And this is about, this is about it for this basic top header. I would like to add some categories so people can just switch through these different views right here. So I'm copying it and the first one should be like fruits. Like that. Align it. The next one should be, I don't know, maybe drinks. And of course, we are going to work with uh, food. And, and this is going to be like vegetables. Or we can also say this should be, yeah, maybe we just go for vegetables. Um, I'm going to change them up. I'm going to reduce the size a little bit to about this and I'm going to change the weight to regular or we can also leave it just in the in the light 
just like that. Um, okay, how about positioning them into like a correct grid? So just about like that. I'm not going to do all this pixel perfect stuff right now. Um, I think you really get what I'm going to do here, right here. I'm going to add a line to have a like indicator showing the user, showing us on which tab we are currently at. We can of course work with this line. You could also create a dot or whatever, but just make it somehow obvious um, on which tab your user is currently at. So this is really helping the user to figure out what he or she is doing. Um, this is the basic header. I'm going to group these up right here because this is like the slider. I'm going to call it slider. Um, and I would like to add a big button just right here, a rounded rectangle. which should be white and it should have a slight shadow just like that. We can reduce the shadow a little bit and we can also increase the radius, make it look really smooth. Um, and I would like to change the background color to a gray. So we have some separation there. Okay, that's it. We could also, if we want, choose uh, something else like a other color, but I would like to work with the gray one. Okay, so this button right here, button. Okay, yeah, let's also name these layer real quick. So this is the header, this is menu icon, this is the search, and this is the slider with the line indicator and the button. The button should state something like what or how much the user is going to pay for what he's like ordering. So let's drag down our title. I just made a copy of it and we can, we could say um, we want to transform it to uppercase like that. And I would like to have it regular, so it's a bit more vibrant with this color, like so, like that. And we're going to say it should say your order, your order, and it's going to display a certain amount of money as well. So let's say the user's ordering for like 59 bucks, like that. So this is the current order of the user. Um, this, the slider can be moved up a little bit. And I would like to add some entries, some like articles or entries so the user is really seeing what he or she can order. So let's grab a new rounded rectangle, hit U for that. I'm going to make a video about uh, the most, my most used um, keystrokes. So this will probably be really helpful to you. Um, yeah, so this will come out really soon. This is going to be the first entry, maybe make it slightly bigger the background, group it up and call it uh, like item one or article one or whatever. It's going to be the first article. So we are going to have a title. The title will not be blue this time. It will be black or slightly grayish. And we are going to have a like article that's like a description and it should be width uh, it should have a fixed width should be left aligned and i'm going to change it to about 250 pixels and um 
this space right here will be used for a like example photo. So this is going to be the text. We are going to fill in all this stuff with uh, some dummy content. So I'm copying the background to add like a little photo and it's going to be like a square just like that. Um, going to change the color a little bit so we can really see what we're going what uh, like what we're doing there and we can check okay we should probably go to 240 pixels of our text content box okay so below our button uh, be below our like photo and texts we want to place a button. So I'm going to just copy the background layer. I'm giving it a different color. Again, I would like to use this blue because the blue will mean the user is able to order something. So like that, change both the width and the height. And this is going to represent the order button. And let's also make a duplication of that because this will be the more information button, which will be like white. And both of them should actually get a shadow that will of course be customized right now, just like that. And I'm going to call this button one and this one is button two. This one is the photo. And our whole background should also get a shadow to stand out a little bit, just like that. Maybe we are going to reduce the shadow of both of them, both of the buttons a little bit, just like that. And let's also change the Y value to something else, maybe to one pixel, just like that, okay. So what we are going to do is to, of course, add a button caption. This is going to be add to order. And of course it should be white, just like that. And um, the next thing is to copy this one, the next step and to just say this should be like $9. And I want to change the font size so it's really getting a little bit bigger and the user is really able to see it and recognize the price of it. And the second button will get a title that says more information just like that I would like to change this and center it about like that okay so this is really working well um, of course I would like to add some dummy content but at first we are going to copy the different items so we have it just like that. So this is the item two. This is item uh, three. Oops. Okay, so now we are going to replace these three different photos. So let's select all of them. And using craft, we can now also select a different category like food just right there and it should replace our photos just like that it's super easy you can select multiple photos and it will just give you these beautiful examples okay so, so let's do the same with our texts with our like header texts um, again go to like this insert method go to type and we are on, we need a headline it should be about cooking um, it won't be perfect, so 
please don't say anything about that because it's just some dummy content okay so let's get rid of that and what i immediately see that we should change the alignment and place it just like that okay so this is going to be the second headline like that and let's change up this headline because they the second and the third one just say the same just click it again and again until you really get a good headline so this is going to be the third one okay so this is going to be th these are the headlines now let's get over and select an an article the article should also be about cooking and um, we really need to change the height so I'm probably going to do it like that and just add a dot right there um, we could also change the size a little bit to 15 or 16 pixels and also yeah change the change the size so this is going to be the yeah let's go for the second one and insert an oops an article about cooking and let's change the font size to 16 pixels and of course change the height so we only see uh, like two two sentences or like two lines of of like words of this article and of course let's do the same with our last one change the size to 16 pixels and the height to about that so this is like the first screen i said as i said in the second screen in the second video we are going to create this ticket style i would like to um if if a user is like adding something to the order or if you click this button there is really like a ticket popping up and showing you all your like ordered items and it's really it will look like such a ticket let me search that um it will look like such a ticket like ticket PSDs I mean I'm sure if you're like a graphic designer or web designer or whatever um, I would like to have like this ticket style that you see right here and this is going to be part of the UI so I hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed it you can hit the thumb up button that would be really helpful um, that will be really supportive you can also support me on patreon if you want to do that just check the video description in which you will also find the download links for this file right here and of course also for the uh, like android material design icons guys i would like to thank you for your time thanks for listening to this new episode and we see us in the next one bye this video was sponsored by dev mountain if any of you are interested in learning UX design, Dev Mountain is a 12-week design bootcamp intended to get you a full-time job in the industry. You can learn more about this at devmountain.com or by clicking the link in the video description. Thanks for watching the video and we see us in the next one. Bye!